Degrees, what? <laughs> Crazy. Whew, it's cold out there. Man, what are we at? 13.3 degrees. Man, hey, I'm Artie with Expedition Trailers, and I'm up here camping in the Uinta Mountains, just east of Salt Lake City, Utah. Uh, testing out the Voyager and running it through its paces with regard to cold weather camping. And I thought I'd give you a couple quick little tips and tricks on uh, using your 2023 and later Voyager model trailer with the four season package in it. So everything, uh, well, all of the heat uh, for the furnace, right? We use the Truma Combi and that is all regulated and controlled right here on this Truma control panel which is really great easy to use you can set you know whatever temperature you need not only for the furnace but also for the water so quick note on the water you have off eco hot and boost i do recommend if you're just doing dishes or whatever you know washing your hands and, and stuff like that eco is fine it, it works pretty good or, or hot you know kind of depending on how much water you're going to be using but if you are planning on taking a shower i would highly recommend that you put it on boost that way you're going to get the quickest water heating and hottest temperature so that you can mix it with more cold and prolong that shower definitely nice right then with regard to the furnace operation depending on how cold you're going you're gonna want to stay really vigilant on the stuff that's down below you right which is the water tank and then also back in the back the kitchen area so don't forget you've got those hot and cold water lines that run up through that energy chain to the sink and we want to make sure that those do not freeze and we have that duct work that runs back there. You wanna regulate how much of that hot air is going back there. So the way that you do that is number one, by the temperature, but then number two, by these um, outlets that are right behind me here. So these outlets have a cool little kind of butterfly flap on them. They allow you to not only direct the air, but kind of turn off or close this outlet. Now, I do want to stress that you should never fully close these off. They do need air running through them so that you don't overheat the Truma unit. But if you close them slightly, you can push more air out underneath the trailer back to the water tank and the kitchen area and you're going to get more heat back there then you also have that same ability when you're using the outside heat duct right that's going to either a rooftop tent or an outside annex room okay hey guys it is 10:45, and the outside temperature is reading 12 degrees right now and we're gonna see if this water still works out here. It's very important that, um, you know, when you're in these kind of conditions that you're not leaving this all pulled out because, you know, with it like this, it can freeze pretty quick. Okay. Sweet. All right. Still working. And that is the hot water there. <laughs> that's, that's pretty cool. Wow. All right. <laughs> awesome. Jeez. Hot water, camping, and 12 degrees. See you guys in the morning. Good morning. It's seven o'clock. 
Uh, looks like it's warmed up though. It's 20.6 right now. Let's go. Uh, let's let's go check it out. So the big test right now is going to be uh, how this kitchen, uh, the kitchen slide out is. So I'm going to turn on the water. Okay, I just heard it start running. Hold out, it's, it feels a little stiff, but you know, I think it's just it's so cold. Well, the water in the sink is not frozen, so that's a good sign. Here we go. Okay. All right, that's cold. There goes the hot. Sometimes, you know, kind of sputters like that because of the pump, because it's direct, you know, from the pump. So, but when you put it on hot, that tends to go away a little bit because there's a small tank in the Truma. <laughs> Sweet, hot water. And I mean, we just did a pretty cold night. I mean, granted right now it's 20. The last I checked, and let's see it was 2 30 2 30 a.m 15.6 degrees so that's a pretty cold night you know we started at let's see 9 45 the lowest was 11.8 okay well it's awesome that this all worked i'm gonna go ahead and close it back up get some breakfast here